The Texas A&M campus is home to many distinctive landmarks. Some you can't help but see. Others are off the beaten path. And a few places, unforgettable. But there's one place you may not have heard about. A&M's best kept secret. The Nuclear Engineering and Science Center's crown jewel. The Triga Core Reactor. As innovative and unique as the university itself. History. Howdy. I'm Johnny Hurtado, Interim Vice Chancellor and Dean of Engineering. This year, we're celebrating the 60th anniversary of our testing, research, isotopes, general atomics reactor, known as the Triga Reactor, at the Texas A&M University Nuclear Engineering and Science Center. This one megawatt reactor, which is the centerpiece of the Nuclear Engineering and Science Center, was first taken to a critical condition on December 18, 1961, and it's been an important research and teaching tool since. The Atoms for Peace speech by President Eisenhower in 1953 began a growth of nuclear energy and education as the 1950s saw university nuclear engineering programs opening across the country and world. Nuclear reaction as an energy source was before us. The first commercial nuclear energy reactors were being deployed around this time, and Texas A&M became one of the first universities in the United States with a reactor, the AGN, which operates at 5 watts. Texas A&M purchased this reactor in 1957, before the Department of Nuclear Engineering was even established. Texas A&M launched its Department of Nuclear Engineering in 1958, and shortly thereafter created the Nuclear Engineering and Science Center. Today, the Nuclear Engineering and Science Center includes two nuclear reactors for teaching, training, and research. The AGN, which is A&M's first, and the Triga, whose birthday we're celebrating. The Triga reactor was the 83rd university research reactor license in the country and there are only 27 licenses still active in the U.S. today. Texas A&M leads the country in preparing the nuclear engineering workforce. We have the largest student enrollment of all nuclear engine departments in the country. And our research focus spans developing new nuclear technology, radiation science for isotope production, biological and medical applications, and training for tomorrow. Happy birthday, Trigger Reactor, and many more. I became the director of the Nuclear Engineering and Science Center in 2014, which was about seven years ago, and I am the seventh director of the facility since it was founded over 60 years ago. So over the 60-year history of the Trigger Reactor, we've had hundreds of researchers creating scientific new knowledge, engineering new knowledge, demonstrating principles, making isotopes, training students, launching the careers of nuclear engineers and scientists as they come through Texas A&M University, Department of Nuclear Engineering, other departments, and they launch into careers across the world. In this mission, we have research that goes on at the reactor, and we also have an education component. I often say that we have the ability to make neutrons and we make students. We teach the students in their education process. So with the research, the neutrons that we use, we use for isotope production. We make isotopes and we actually sell some commercially. We also do research on different biological systems or different nuclear energy systems. And there's a lot of different activities over the history that have gone on in the reactor. And we're looking to expand and revitalize those facilities with modern research capabilities for new tools. As we expand the education mission at the NESC, we're also looking to use the reactor to bring in groups from outside of Texas A&M that they could come for training uh, as operators as technicians and they can learn nuclear principles by getting their hands on our nuclear reactor and actually learning what's happening whereas they can't do that in a commercial facility but they can do it here. So we have a science team in the basement from the physics department and they are using reactor neutrinos that come from the fission process and they have developed a brand new detector and it's the MINER program and this new detector is going to be used for detecting neutrinos from astronomy applications in the hunt for dark matter. Mission. 
So we've already talked a lot about over the past 60 years the science, the research, the engineering and training that has gone on with the NESC. But even as we look forward to the future, we have a, a new aspect that's been brought into the NESC with the addition of the Nuclear Power Institute. As part of these organizational changes, the Nuclear Power Institute was merged with the Nuclear Engineering and Science Center in 2019. This was a truly dynamic development for the centers as it enabled the Nuclear Engineering and Science Center to have an outreach and education division. This allows the Nuclear Power Institute to expand its resources to further grow the mission of STEM education, workforce development, and outreach throughout the state of Texas. This year, the Nuclear Power Institute enters into its 14th year, having engaged over 200 educators and over 15,000 students. Through these efforts, we feel quite certain that the Nuclear Engineering and Science Center tours and educational programs will dramatically grow, interest will intensify, and awareness will flourish. The Nuclear Power Institute isn't a technical organization. Rather, we're inspirational. We're inspirational because we bring about opportunities for students and educators to continue education. Education in a way that they just can't get in a regular classroom. We bring our resources from higher education, from industry, and from national labs. We bring these resources together so that students and educators can feel, touch, and hear for themselves. What MPI does is it creates a network of engagement across the state of Texas between K-12 students and educators, higher education partners, and industry professionals. In addition to the reactors that we have at the Science Center, we also have our research labs to the side where we support the development of nuclear technologies. And we have our new counting lab that was just uh, established, and we have also some lab projects that are just beginning such as something we're doing with a private company with a NASA technology and we're looking to develop novel power source for, for space power systems or remote power systems. But really over the last five years or so, there's been quite a bit of investment at the Science Center. A couple of different things have been going on. There was a reactor, the other reactor that we now have on site is called the AGN reactor. That was in the Zachary Engineering Building. And that was moved in 2016 and we have it to be rebuilt out at the Science Center. And as part of that, T's invested up to somewhere around $6 million to upgrade the facility where we've now got modern facilities and it, some of it's things that are more practical like the American with Disabilities Act so that we now have the ability to have Anybody that wants to approach the reactors can now get in there. We have different facilities for that. Each year, the reactor supports three to four nuclear engineering classes for the university, along with classes from other colleges. We get many visits from middle and secondary schools that come to learn about the benefits of nuclear technology. For the training mission, five to ten university students enter our operations training program each year. These students go on to become reactor operators and senior reactor operators licensed by the Nuclear Regulatory Commission. The nuclear engineering program at Texas A&M University is very unique. It is the only program in the nation that has two teaching reactors, the Triga and the AGN. We are very special in this regard because many of the other nuclear engineering programs in the country will have one reactor at best and some have none. Both reactors, the Triga and the AGN, offer all of our undergraduate students hands-on experience in reactor operation. And I do want to emphasize all, since the reactor operation training is required for graduation. These reactors, the Triga and the AGN, have benefited more than 1,000 students who later became nuclear engineers. For the past 10 years, there have been more than 600 students who were trained with the Triga. The experience with the AGN and Triga reactor is not limited to only taking courses for graduation. Many students take an extra step to get additional training for obtaining a reactor operator license. And we have many such students who are now reactor operators in nuclear power plants. Future. We are also working with other universities and the nuclear industry in developing nuclear operations training classes for the workforce pipeline. For example, we're developing a program with a and Galveston that will train utility nuclear reactor operators. The reactor has provided radiation services to a wide variety of customers, from archaeologists to agriculture, from the auto industry to the medical and dental fields, and the oil and gas industry, and beyond. 
We are expanding our service and research missions to support work in testing of equipment used in the nuclear industry, national and homeland security, and national defense. The AGN will provide more hands-on teaching, training, and research opportunities for student scientists and engineers. This makes TEAS and Texas A&M unique as the only university in the nation with two operating reactors. We continue to grow our customer base by performing new irradiation and testing services for electronics and severe environments. As we're celebrating the 60 years of operation for the Trigger Reactor, looking forward to the next 60 years, the things we're doing today are to prepare for the future as we're looking towards investing in nuclear technology, investing in infrastructure for the state of Texas as far as teaching and training, and we're just preparing to continue to be a fantastic facility as we go forward for the next 60 years. I'm Bill Magwood. I'm Director General of the OECD Nuclear Energy Agency. We're a multinational organization that advances cooperation among countries with, on nuclear technology. In that respect, one of the most important things we do is we focus on human capacity building. That's why I'm here at Texas A&M University, one of the finest institutions in the world when it comes to educating young people into the nuclear sciences and technology. And I'm here particularly to celebrate the 60th anniversary of the Trigger Reactor here on campus. So for those of you from Texas A&M, congratulations on the 60th anniversary of this reactor, and go Aggies.